one's going to be a lot like a destruction derby. I love that wrist thing. Yep. Anderson Silva, the man who proclaims that he was born to fight, and he said he's better than Roy Jones at Valley Judo. <laughs> Thank God that he said that. Last two words at the end, huh? Valley Judo. Alexander Atska, the former pro wrestler. He does not do pro wrestling anymore. He lists his chances as 50-50 to win this fight. He's what, yeah, he's got to really do something in this fight. I mean, Anderson Silva, the way we saw him the last time, <laughs> this guy's a technician, knows how to punch, kick, he's got the whole package. And apparently he's real good on the ground too, so. Yeah, Atsuka said that the, uh, Anderson knows that he's better than him at punches. And that he, uh, Silva, uh, reportedly it said he was going to make him bleed like Alex Stiebling. Yeah. Alexander Otsuka is going for a takedown. That's one thing for sure. Yeah, he, he, he cannot stand up with reportedly the best technician at the Shootbox Academy, and that's Anderson Silva. The man in the yellow and black trunks. Otsuka, the man in the yellow and red trunks. And there's that takedown. Just as you said, boss. Yep. And Anderson gave it up with a, a lot, without a lot of effort. For triangle already. He's yeah. going for a triangle. Yeah. Anderson evidently not only is the best stand-up and Muay Thai technician at Shootbox, but Hujamar, the master instructor there, told me that he was the best uh, all-around technician, including ground fighting. And you could see it right there. He went right away for to, to open the guard. He went right away to go for a triangle attempt or a sweep, whatever he wanted to do with it. But he's working. I bet you this is going to be, he's going to reverse this situation. He's going to do something. There we go. That's good. Look how limber Anderson Silva is. He's really going for that triangle. Yeah, or the humbar triangle. There we go. Whoa. And he doesn't let him pass it. You know, Alexander broke it, but he doesn't let him go to the Simon. <laughs> That is very good. Well, in um, Silva's last match, he got a real early stoppage with that left high kick over Alex Stiebling, and that cracked Alex and cut, cut him really bad. Now we get to see what Alex, I mean, uh, what Anderson can do on the ground. And so far, it's been fairly impressive. Yes, it is. Because he's not static. He's trying for something, whether it be a palm strike to distract him as he's doing now, or as you said before, the triangle choke from the bottom. Yep, and you said it before in this, uh, the fight before this, Shukot people, they're always in for excitement. They're moving, they're working, full of stamina. They're, <laughs> look at this, slam bam, thank you, man. Good move by Atska. He's trying to pass the arm again, you see? <laughs> yeah, oh, he's making it a sweep. Watch this. Or no, triangle he's, going. Oh, he's got it, boss. He's got he's, it. He's going to get it. Atska, he's got it. He's got it. Atska will be forced to tap out here. He's, got he's moving around. Atska really defending here, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. No, he's, he, right now he's in a safe position still. Uh, Silva has to bring his arm, Alexander's arm over to the other side. Silva's got to look out for the left Whoa. knee, though. The left knee. This, this Alexander is studying good. Whoa, look at this. Woo. He's got a like he's almost got right back in. The escape is in the boss with the big book of combat. I'm telling you, knee on the on the head, exactly the same escape. That was beautiful. Atsuka did the right thing. He turned the right way. As you said, he used the knee. We got seven minutes left in this beauty of a grappling contest. Yeah, this looks real good, and I, I, I see a, a turn coming up. Oh, I almost thought he was going to twist it to the right. Boss, your, your whole career, even though I consider you a master of submissions as well as striking, everybody fixated on the fact you were a striker. Similarly, the shoot box guys, they always figure they, they're Muay Thai, they're going to be bangers, they're going to go out there and try and knock people out. But we're seeing here with Anderson Silva that not only are they well-versed in submissions, but this guy is really painting a beautiful picture here from the bottom. Yeah, the Van Gogh, so to say. Rembrandt. 
Oh, yeah, way up there. Yeah. Salvador Dali. <laughs> no, let's keep it Dutch. <laughs> oh, you want, oh, you're going to start with the Dutch thing. The Dutch painted, baby. That's He's got right. this uh, half guard right now, Alexander Rotsuka. But, you know, that's a position you can be reversed in if you do the wrong thing. Well, Atsuka, now that he's out of pro wrestling and, and committed full-time to fighting, um, has showed some improvement, at least defensively. Because the, it looked like that triangle was sunk, but then he moved him around. There we go for the street. Oh, good defense. Well, you can see, now, Anderson went for the sweep, and Atsuka defended. He did, and it, it was good. He defended it very well. Atsuka, um, he's, he's constantly, Silva's so constantly looking for something. One mistake he sees, tried to pass the arm again. He just need him on the, in the ear there. <laughs> if that was another move. That's for the cauliflower ear. Yeah, right. Working, oh. Yep, this fight's going to be maybe uh, ended in round number two. Although they're both looking really fresh right now, I think, you know, they're feeling each other out. Uh, Alexander's doing good in, in escapes. Silva's attacking nonstop. It's, uh, it's a beautiful look at this. That is absolutely oh, nice. What a move, but he's not in a good position here. And the cameraman. A creative work by the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was getting triangled at the same time by somebody else. Yeah. Anderson. Now he gave up uh, the guard. But he tried something. That's the point. Yep. He, 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 he's got the confidence to assert himself Look in positions that potentially could be dangerous. No, he's got nothing. But Look at this escape. He's going for a leg lock. going for a leg lock. Definitely going for the leg. He Look keeps at this going escape. For it. Look at this. Silva is just having a blast here at Nagoya, Rainbow Hall. He's going to get his back. He's going to get his back, boss. And he's got a triangle, buddy triangle this on him now. This is not good at all for Atsuka because, as you said, he's got, the, he's got the lock around the body. It's very difficult to get out of that. Impossible to see the punches coming. Yep. If you want to see escape, though, you got to refer to the boss of the big book of combat. <laughs> well, who wrote that book, boss? <laughs> Oh, a, a very famous writer. They call him the Fight Professor. Oh, uh, but it was. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I got to admit, I was part of writing that book, but it was, it was all you, baby. Look at this. Great movement, both fighters. This is going to be very difficult to escape from Otsuka. Uh, although Anderson's got real tall legs, which gives it a little bit more space. Otsuka. Nice. But Anderson blasting those uppercuts under the armpits. Going yeah. for that choke. Go for it. Oh, he. He really was going to go for it there. Anderson absolutely dominating, almost playing with Oscar. Yeah, the thing is with the with the gloves, it's very difficult to choke somebody. If you know how to defend a choke it, with the glove, it's pretty much impossible. So he's really working for it. He's got to set it up with something. This body triangle, by the way, is very annoying for Otsuka because it, it prevents him from breathing freely. It will tire him out. Yeah, it shuts off your breath from your diaphragm. Three minutes left. Look at this. Takes his time, picking his shots. Whoa. Now it looks like it almost slides under. No, Otsuka still got it. No, 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 no. It looks he's, like got he's got it. it. He's got it. He, no, oh, he's he got it. Out. Whoa, and he right away goes for it again. Got his chin down. Yep. Anderson trying to pull him. Oh, and it looks like he might have him here. Yeah. Even though he's got the chin down. Yeah, the, the Japanese people are masters in escaping, and Otsuka is one of them. Oh, he's got it under the now chin. Now he's got it under, got it under the under chin. Now he's, he's right. done. He's done. Oh, no, he's out. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yep, we I'm, saw this many times with Otsuka. <laughs> Otsuka in his last fight against Sanae Kukuda. Was was in an armbar that it was like a perfect armbar, and he just would not tap out. Yeah, everybody would have tapped in that one, but he didn't, and he escaped Henzo Gracie's armbar. You remember he was, so uh, he's a master in escaping. But Silva is a master in attacking, and that's what he's doing right now, nonstop. Getting his back again, moving, shooting away with those punches. Atsuka has really not shown 
weakness against submission, but he's shown weakness against strikes because he's been stopped by so many people like Vanderlei. Guy Mesger beat him twice by knockout. Ken Shamrock knocked him out. Igor Bokchanshin beat him up with strikes when they fought. But Oscar went the distance with Bokchanshin. You're right, with the gloves, boss. It makes a big difference. Rear naked choke against a, a person who knows the basics. Alexander is bleeding here. Yes, he is. It's, it's like the strikes you can't see are the ones that are going to hurt you. <laughs> Look at that. He's loading up on his shots. And what is bleeding? It looks like his nose. Yeah. Cut on his cheekbone. I don't know. We got one minute. Okay, one minute left in this total domination by Anderson Silva. He's got the rear mount on Alexander Atska. And he's trying everything he can, but he's not really burning out his energy. No, he knows. He's got two rounds more to go um, in this situation that have been in the situation now for the last, what, four minutes? Oh, boss. He's, no, he, he might have it. He might have it here. Oh, no, he doesn't have it. Yeah, Alexander didn't tap before. He's not going to tap now. 30 seconds no. left, and is Alexander going to push no. it off? Yeah. Push it off again. <laughs> This is crazy. He should try to go get the mount. That's what Silva should do. Not now, of course, but just before I said it. But hey, they both look fresh. They're gonna go into round number two. Well, Anderson Silva is giving up almost 15 pounds in this fight. He came in about 187 pounds. Uh, Otsuka was a little bit over 200 pounds. Wow, man, Anderson Silva really knows how to grapple. This is beautiful. This is their fight of the night until now. It's, uh, I love it. Anderson Silva is not cocky, but he said, I think I am the best. And if he goes in and keeps uh, beating Alex Stieblings and winning fights in a dominating fashion, it's gonna be hard to find an opponent at 185 pounds that's gonna really give him a run for his money. Yeah, I think so too. He's I mean, got everything going for it. And that's a that's a really great weight division that we have here. Here we are on the replay. Anderson pulling that arm out. Yeah, he should have swooped him on his back now to the left. He's going for the triangle and then he had it full on. But, yeah. But Otsuka really defended well. Yes. He scooted at the clockwise. And he dropped the knee once or twice, but he didn't do a lot of damage. He could have done some serious damage here with that left knee. Yep. But he wanted to get out of the uh, out of the uh, the hold. Yeah. And Mr. Silva should have tried to bring um, Altuca's right arm over to the other side, but now he's going to get out. That was a wow, beautiful. Both fighters, both fighters, Altuca, perfect, very nice in escaping situations here, and obviously Silva's. Unbelievable in an attacking. Alexander Otska, one of the, one of the nicest guys you would ever meet, said he would like to do movies where he portrays an average working businessman with a nice conservative haircut, yeah. which is a little bit of a stretch from his shaved head look. But even though he's got the shaved head look, and many times people with shaved heads look like tough guys or bad guys, this guy still you can't hide the fact that he's just a a real nice guy. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. <laughs> We're not saying that Anderson Silva is any less nice, but there is something a little foreboding about the shoot box team. Yes, once they step in there, <laughs> they're going to so try and they're going to try and kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. They're not well going to be really worried about touching gloves a lot. I mean, well, there he goes and touches gloves. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that the high kick is going to come up here. Yeah, he's going to throw. You're right. Look, but, but who threw the high kick? A jump front kick. Taekwondo 101. Or an inside low kick here with the left. Maybe he's going to give that. Uh -oh. Clash of shins there by both fighters. Anderson just giving it up and almost swept him all the way over. How about a fly guard? What is he going to do with this? See if he can. He's going to try and sweep him to the to the. Yeah. Oh, he gave it up. Submission match. Round number two. The interesting thing is about Anderson Silva compared to Ninja per se or Vanderlei, is that he gave up those takedowns 
It's almost like, sure, you want to go to the ground? Fine. But where's Vandley? He really fights the takedown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does Ninja. Ninja too, yeah. They fight the takedown because they want to kind of keep it blasted. But Anderson, maybe he wants to prove something. As I said before, maybe he wants to paint, paint a masterpiece with the brushes of his arms and hands. Well, she does doing a really good job right now. He's got a very good base. Um, yeah, like you said, he doesn't have a pro wrestling career anymore, so he wants to pay money for real fighting. He's got to step it up, and um, he's doing a good job. He's trying for the neck crank here, yeah. but he doesn't really have the good, good enough position, plus it's not going to work because Anderson will just loosen his guard. Yeah, and he, he's very limber also. also the Extremely limber. Now let's see what's going to happen. He's got to go and do something, otherwise the referee's got to jump in here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He's going to try to sweep him. He's just faking it there. See that? He was testing his reaction. Yep. It, nothing happens. More than this. Okay, this is good. Right. He's going to go for an e-bar? No. Uh, Anderson not going to be in a good position here because he, he might be able to get need, but look how he just gets out of Easy. danger. Look at this. He's going to go? No. He's going to yeah, go high. He's, he's going to go, go high. He's got one leg out, one, oh, both legs out. I'm wrong here. Oh, no, no. He can kick one leg under. This is a, that's, that's a great position for him. Ooh. It was a bull buster, so to say. <laughs> He fell down with the shin in the groin. He got to hurt. Two minutes left in this second uh, round. It's it's really kind of surprising. Yeah, I, I uh, would have thought of a, a submission in this round or something to happen in this round. But it's very difficult to fight a guy who's got a very good base, and he just sits in there. And I don't know what else tries to do that with uh, with that with it stand up because it's gonna yeah it's gonna open the car. But Alex staying busy, elbowing to the body. Yeah, I think round number three, um, Silva should try to keep it on the field. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, try to keep, uh, to, uh, protect himself from the takedown and, and, and go for strikes. Oh, look at this. He's got a sweeper. I, I think that, that, that 10 to 15 pound weight advantage uh, Atsuka has is making the difference here to some extent in the surviving of Atsuka because if they were the same weight, we saw what happened. Atsuka is a veteran of fighting guys from shootbox because he did fight Vandalay Silva. Uh, last year, and it was Cole Fury too, and uh, he was stopped on a cut, but he's nowhere near being stopped at this moment on a cut. Uh, the closest he was being to stop, being stopped was that triangle choke attempt by Silva. Another elbow there by Atsuka to the body. He missed that one, and we heard it on, on the canvas. Yeah, he keeps working. He does. It's, uh, he's doing a good job. In the end, a few seconds left in number two. Yeah, I think the instructions from Shootbox corner should be okay. Let's try this third round on the feet. Let's go for a knockout. Okay, and there you have it. I mean, Oscar did pretty well in that round. I, I don't know that I would give him the round because Anderson had done some work, but he did strike quite a bit to the body with the elbows. Yep, and the pride. Here we go again. It's not, they don't count by the rounds. Exactly. It's who's going to win this round right now. Coming up, third round. Whoever is the strongest is going to take it. And here we go. Uh, Atska elbowing and chopping down. He's going to the body with the elbow and then trying to do the bottom fist to the head. Not a terribly active round compared to the first, which was right up there with Matsui, Carlos Newton, in some ways. Yep. But we got round number three. 
Yeah, round number three, I'm, I'm betting that we're going to see an aggressive Anderson Silva. And I'll tell you, Atsuka is not a guy to back down. No, and if you do be too aggressive and, and you can do attack too fast, Atsuka's going to take you down again. So we really got to watch out here. He doesn't want to take this fight to the ground anymore. Or he's got to be led on top. I think because uh, Anderson has been taken down both rounds, uh, that he should not worry about kicks. He should box. Box. He should go out there. He's got a great right jab. He is a southpaw. He's got a great right jab, as we saw against Steve Link in his last fight. I think he should box and, and try try to get uh, Atsuka out of there with punches and then set up a high kick. Because you know as well as I do, if you just go out there and throw a high kick, it's pretty easy to see it coming. Yeah. Unless you set it up with a fake or with, a, with, with some boxing. And I think that's probably what Hujamar might be telling him. Yeah, look, just, just go out there and kickbox this guy. Yep. And if it goes to the ground, you've got to be on top. Do anything in, power, in your power to get to be on top. And he's bouncing. The thing is, we've seen. See, there it is. Wow. Impressive. Real quick. Atsuka got, got Anderson on the deck again. Yep. And now, Atsuka trying to slam and do some damage with slams, but that, that takes a lot of energy. But again, I said there's a little bit of weight differential here, so if they were the same weight, it would really be taxing on Atsuka to do that. Yeah, this, if, if the referee's not going to step in now, yeah, although Silva is going to attack now, he has to, because if it stays in this mode, there's a very big chance that Atsuka's going to win. Yeah, because Atsuka, if Atsuka pulled out a win against Anderson Silva, that would be almost humiliating. It would be huge. But Anderson has got to make things happen. Yeah, he's got to work. Yeah, because it, it, it's there a... There we go, armbar. Oh, no, he pulls it out. At least he tried it. Triangle coming out. Right into the triangle. But also has a master in escaping this. Oh, now he might... Oh, yes, he does. Again. Attacking for it again. Oh, 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 oh. Atsuka. Here we are in the famous north-south position. Now, Atsuka going for the leg lock. Anderson back up. And he lets him off the hook. He could have kicked him. And Anderson finally defends the takedown. And they're scooting towards the side of the ring. And Anderson... He's got the takedown again. Another takedown for Atsuka. Both men being a little more aggressive. Atsuka having more of his way. Yep. This could be a win for Atsuka if he continues doing this now. Anderson has got to put him in danger again. Yep. At least one more time. If he doesn't, this is going to be huge because a lot of people feel, now some people feel that Anderson Silva is best suited at fighting at 170 pounds, let alone 185, let alone fighting a guy who's 200 pounds. So it is, we're finding out in some ways this match is, is a little bit reminiscent of Pele versus Matsui. Pele, who's one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport, came in Outweighed by Matsui, who yeah. did not have an impressive record, but always fights his heart out, and decision Pele. Are we seeing the same thing here? I, I don't know, because Anderson has fought a more scientific fight than Pele did against Matsui. Pele tried for the armbar early on for the longest time. Um, so I don't know, but the, the, it's up to the fighters to make things happen. Yeah, Silva's been attacking nonstop with uh, submissions, but Alexander has been escaping them nonstop. But that's got to count for something, too. He's got the takeouts now in this last round. Every round. Two of them. Yeah, all the yes. Every but, round. But I'm, I'm really concerned always about the last round because that's the round they're going to count. And that's why I think, you know, if he doing what he's doing right now, he's going to win the fight. And well, he only needs to do it two minutes. Yeah, we've got two minutes, and Anderson has not been able to flip Atsuka over. Uh, except for the fact that when he got him in the triangle choke. But then he, you know, he ended up on the bottom again. Atsuka's base is pretty good. He's got a very good base. Uh, 
told, I said it before, and it's very difficult to get this guy off, trust me. Yeah, Vanderlei's corner, which is very close to us here, I mean, the, because of the seating arrangement here, we're, we're actually right next to the blue corner. Uh, they're imploring him to really get busy, I would think. I, I don't speak Portuguese too well, but they're getting pretty excited. Uh, but Atsuka is the one who's getting busy. Yeah, he's he gets one now. Oh, no. he almost swept him. No, again, he's going to try the triangle, but Oscar's defending it already. Yeah, yeah, this is. I think is going to be a win for Oscar. We never yeah. know, of course. I, I, if I were Oscar, I would just let let punches go right here. Just let punches go. He's got the high base now. Just let punches go. But look at Anderson's getting ready for. Otsuka. Okay, now Anderson could get him here. Is he going to get it? No, he's not going to get it. There's nothing there. Yeah, but not yet. Oh, but they're both going for leg locks. They're really trying for it. There is. Yeah. Anderson good. needs to get his right leg around. Now he's got it. But he doesn't. He's only got an ankle lock. As you said so many times before, it's very hard to tap somebody out with his move. Yeah, now he's got to make a heel hook right now from this uh, killer's tenant pool that he's doing. He's got to make a heel hook, otherwise he's not going to make it. Yeah. He's got to... Yeah. Yeah, he's going for the heel hook. He's almost giving it to him. Also, he's almost giving it to him. Oh, now he's, got, he's, he's doing got, it. Now he's going for it, but does, does he no, have the strength? this could be it. He's going to spin. Does this, he have the strength, or will he refuse to tap out? He's going for the reverse heel hook. He's, he's going for the knee out. bar now. Is he going for the he's knee bar? He's getting out. He's getting out. He's going to slide out. He's almost out. Oh! That was very close. Yeah, now... No, he oh, that was close to the end. I, I would have to give it to Anderson Silva because he had Atsuka closer to finishing than Atsuka had him. It's true. He did. He, he, he worked for more close finishes. For instance, this here, which he eventually forgot about the Achilles lock, and then he goes for the heel hook here. Um, Yeah, Alexander's pretty much almost giving it to him here. See, look at this. But, Boss, you know as well as I do, heel hook, you do need some arm strength to execute a heel hook. Yes. And Os and uh, Anderson's a little bit on the lean side. Yeah, the weight difference here and Oscar being so yeah. limber and, and the yeah. escape artist that he is. But in the, in the final conclusion, yeah. I, I got to go with Silva. But we'll see. I mean, Oscar made it a lot closer than everyone expected. Everyone expected Anderson to go right through this guy. It didn't happen. Well, I tell you, if Ansgar got with a really good Muay Thai coach, woo! Judge Nish, Anderson. Judge Wada, Anderson. Judge Nish, Anderson. You're right, Stephen. Yeah, there, there it is, Anderson Silva. Even though Atsuka made it more competitive than most thought it would be, it was Anderson Silva who dictated how the fight was fought once it went to the ground. Yep, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, the first round was phenomenal. He did pretty much anything he wanted with um, Atsuka, but Atsuka, the escape artist that he is, saying that all the time, because he is, got out, but he was only defending. The guy that was attacking was Anderson Silva, nonstop. You know, we've seen so many uh, fighters come in, and Atsuka's record is not impressive, but I'm telling you, if he took a break of about three to six months and just worked on a couple things and just stayed within his weight division of 200 pounds, 205 pounds, I mean, Vandaly could not clean out. Who yep. knows? And there he is, Anderson Silva. 